Welcome to this puzzle session. Here is the problem. We have an initial configuration of four knights on a three cross three chessboard. So there are three rows and three columns. And two of the knights are colored pink and two of the knights are colored blue. So the uh, goal is to uh, suppose someone wants to go from this configuration to this configuration via maintaining certain constraints. So at any step one is allowed to move one knight and one is not allowed to place one knight over on top of the other. So what one can do is one can place, take this knight, place it here or here and then in next step take a knight of your choice and place it somewhere. But yes, of course, you are only allowed to use knight moves. So in chess, a knight moves in a certain way and those are the only allowed moves. So two constraints. One has to use only knight moves and the second is that one is not allowed to place two knights on the same square, meaning one, one cannot just somehow, you know, in the first step maybe one places this knight here, in the second step one places this knight there but that is not allowed because this single square would be housing two knights. So the question is, can one go from this configuration to that configuration under these constraints? All right, so as usual, you're encouraged to pause the video and figure out a solution for yourself before you look at what I'm going to discuss. And now let us move on to the solution. So first, let us forget about the four knights. What we will do is we will graphically represent the movement of a single knight on this chessboard. So what we do is we label each square with a number. There are nine numbers and for each square we have a dot. So these will become the vertices of a graph. To familiarize yourself uh, with the basics of graph theory you can look at my kickstart playlist. Some five six videos are there. All right so suppose a knight starts here and what we will do is we will record where all can the knight go from this from this square in this graphical fashion. So suppose the knight starts here. So where all uh, can it go? It can go to 6 and it can go to 8. Only two places it can go to. So let's record that. It can go to 6 or it can go to 8. Okay, what about the second one, it can go to 7 or to 9. From here one can go to 8 or 4. Oops, sorry. Then from here one can go to 3 or 9. 3 has already been joined, so only one more edge. Here you can't go to anywhere, so this will be hungry. Here you can go to 7 or 1. And that's all basically. All the edges have been joined because from 7 you can go to 2 and 6. But that is already taken care of and everything has been taken care of. You can check. So this uh, somewhat complicated looking thing becomes much simpler if we just rearrange the vertices in this fashion. So from 1, one can go to 6 or 8. From 6, one can go to 7 or 1 and so on. So this will be basically a cycle. All right. So this perfectly records where one can go from a given position if one is a knight. So suppose you start at 6, then you can go to 7 or come back to 6 or go to 1, then 8, then come back to 1, 6, 7, 2, 9, 4. Completely captures all the possible uh, trajectories of a knight. And this also illustrates that the trajectory is a particularly simple one. It is not going to be a complicated trajectory. It's just basically a cycle. You can go back and forth, but that's as much complex as you can get. So armed with this, we will finish the proof. So now we can record the initial configuration in this fashion. We have our original, you know, this, this cycle. And the pink knight is sitting at 1, so we put a K here, K for knight. Another pink is sitting at 7, so here is another pink K. One blue is sitting at 3, so here is one blue at 3, and similarly for 9. 
So this is my initial configuration. And similarly, this final configuration corresponds to this decoration. And now the question is, can one go from this configuration to that configuration, where one is allowed to just slide, you know, suppose, what is a move now? A move in this world translates to something very simple in this world. It just means you, you know, transfer this guy to something adjacent. That's all. So in one move, suppose you want to move this guy. In one move, it might go here or there. And then similarly, these people will move around. But no matter what you do, since you are not allowed to have collisions, you are not allowed to place two knights on the same square, you see that this order will always be maintained, meaning two pink ones will be followed by two blue ones. So two pink, two blue, two pink, two blue, this will always be preserved no matter what you do. But here that order is not preserved. You have a pink, then a blue, then a pink, then a blue. And therefore there is no way to go from here to there while maintaining the constraints that were mentioned. So this is a very nice solution to a somewhat complicated looking problem. Basically this serves as a very good illustration to graph theory that sometimes expressing a data in terms of graphs can greatly simplify things and make things very very clear. Alright, so hopefully you enjoyed this puzzle and as usual like, comment, share, subscribe and I will see you next time.